Welcome everyone to German Tour Views. Today we're going to take a look at the world famous Ballastool Universal Oil. While Ballastool is usually associated with firearm maintenance, I have found that it works great for lubricating and protecting your tools. Just a little short history on the product. The oil was developed in the early 20th century under the necessity for the German military to have a universal oil that could not only be used on metal but also on wood and leather. The formulation was developed by Helmut Clever, who at the time was a university chemistry professor. He is credited with giving the formula the name ballistol, which was formed by combining the term ballistics with the Latin word for oil, oleum. The units that you can buy in North America are actually made in the USA with what I presume is a license from Ballastool and the secret recipe which I'm sure included a lot of non-disclosure agreements. Listed on each product is a general guide for the application and use of the product. Note the first bullet that indicates that Ballastool will dissolve brass and copper due to it being a highly alkaline oil, so keep this in mind when applying it to certain objects. As indicated, it is advertised to work on a variety of surfaces including metal, wood, plastic, and rubber. One feature I feel that Ballastool has an advantage over many other cleaning solvents is that it is 100% non-toxic. Unlike chlorinated brake cleaner, Ballastool does not contain any components classified as hazardous by OSHA. As noted in the Ballastool documentation, in feeding experiments with rabbits, guinea pigs, and dogs, it could be demonstrated that Ballastool does not have any acutely toxic properties. There's even a story that Ballastool notes about a two-year-old child who drank a 50 millimeter bottle and, quote, did not show any pathological symptoms apart from a little hangover like it appears after drinking too much alcohol, end quote. While the actual Ballastool formula is a trade secret, from the safety data sheets and other disclosures, we can determine a good number of the ingredients. The primary ingredient is white mineral oil, which accounts for around 70% of the total composition. White mineral oil is typically found in a medical grade form that is used for all types of things from wood conditioning to lubrication. The second ingredient is oleic acid that accounts for around 10% by volume. Even though it has the word acid in the name, it is not a corrosive chemical, but instead a monounsaturated fatty acid that is found in many soaps. It is added to the mineral oil to prevent separation with water. That in turn allows it to be diluted with water and thereby water soluble. The third ingredient is benzyl acetate, which accounts for another 10% by volume. From the research I have done, this is a chemical that is commonly used as a solvent for nitrocellulose. You would often find nitrocellulose in explosive munitions and thereby making benzyl acetate a good cleaner for firearms. The final known ingredient is anethole that is commonly used as a sweetener and gives the bottle still its licorice scent. This unique odor definitely takes a bit to get used to, but after a while you hardly notice it anymore. Anethol also has some antimicrobial and antifungal properties, which is also a characteristic that Ballastol claims to have. The aerosol version of the product would also have an additional ingredient, propane, to act as a propellant. This is pretty common for any aerosol spray due to the fact that propane remains a liquid when under compression, as opposed to air, which remains a gas under compression. For those in North America, the most common forms of the oil are either a liquid, aerosol, or pre-moistened wipe. The most common sizes for the liquid are in 4 ounce and 16 ounce bottles. Depending on where you get it from, some versions of the 16 ounce bottle will come with a spray adapter that screws into the top. I found that the sprayer is much too powerful for precision applications, so it's better suited for doing applications over a very large surface. I have found some success using these miniature oilers that I found off Amazon. This little kit comes with two different sizes with stainless steel applicators. I actually think Ballastol is missing out on the market here by not offering a version with a precision liquid applicator. While I can't speak to the effectiveness of Ballastol for use in firearms, I can definitely speak to its effectiveness in cleaning and maintaining tools. Here's what a screwdriver handle might look like after doing a job, particularly one with a lot of dust and debris. It does a great job at cleaning any plastic, rubber, or metal surface on hand tools and will even remove grease and oil. The only type of tool you have to worry about applying this oil to is one made of brass or copper, which usually isn't very often for most people. I wouldn't say that it would destroy a brass tool, but it would most likely just tarnish it. The way I typically maintain my tools is to keep them out until I get a job done, and then oil them with ballastol before putting them away. This also prevents any cross-contamination on the tools for the next project. Another interesting property of ballastol is that it is a water-soluble oil, meaning you can mix it with water to produce a slightly less effective solution in applications where you need a substantial volume, but using 100% ballastol would be cost prohibited. There's a small table on the liquid version that acts as a guide to diluting the solution for specific circumstances. Ballastol in Germany actually makes a whole lot of other products that are not available in many parts of the world. You got Neo Ballastol that is supposed to be a universal oil for human skin use, then you have Ballastol mosquito repellent, and even Ballastol pepper spray. One of these days I can get in some of these more exotic Ballastol formulas to compare them to the universal oil. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the look at the Ballastol Universal Oil for use in tool maintenance. 
There's some affiliate links in the description if you feel the urge to pick one up. Have a good week, and I'll catch you guys next time.